Hi everyone. In this video, I'll explain what a covered call strategy is and how to simulate it within Python. Let's review the packages we'll use. These include YFinance, Math, SciPy, NumPy, Matplotlib, and IPython. Brief disclaimer before we get started. This video is just meant for learning purposes and is no one way meant to advocate using covered calls within your own personal portfolio. In order to actually simulate a covered call strategy, we need a tool that is going to be used to simulate the, the call option price. And we'll use the black scholes merton model. In the description, I have a video that walks through this model and the assumptions that are made and how it works in case you want to learn more about it. Let's get into the covered call strategy. And the covered call strategy is executed by selling a call option on an underlying asset that is held in the portfolio. In this case, we'll use Apple shares as, as an example. The, will, you need to hold at least 100 shares of Apple stock in order to sell a call option because one call option is equivalent to 100 shares of Apple. The maximum net profit that can be gained from this strategy is the premium collected for selling the option. And later on in the video, we'll take a look how much we get for selling the option and what that premium looks like relative to the dividend we would receive from just holding Apple stock. In the case of a covered call, we are shorting an option. And we are essentially making a bet that the price of Apple shares will either stay around, stay right around below the strike price, or the stock price might even fall further. And we want to just collect a premium by selling a call option. The downside of this strategy is if the shares of Apple, Apple stock rises above the strike price, the shares can be called away and we'll have to share, sell the shares to the holder of the call option. In our scenario, we're a portfolio manager and we only hold 100 shares of Apple. We are forecasting that the price will not rise a significant amount. Given this, we want to make some additional income by selling some options. In this case, we'll only share one call option. And we'll get started by simulating this strategy. What we'll do first is we are going to call Y Finance and using the ticker class, we are going to get the information for Apple shares. We're going to pull down the previous close for Apple's shares, the strike price, which is going to be $175. The strike price is marginally higher than the current stock price of Apple. So this, this covered call is technically out of the money. Next, we have the risk-free rate. We'll just use a 10-year treasury yield. Our estimation for the implied volatility is 30%. The time factor is half a year or six months. And the dividend yield will also grab from Y Finance as well. And these are all the parameters that we need in order to value a call option. Let's run this. And we have the previous close for Apple shares, which finished at $172. Next, we're going to value our out of the money call option. And we have all of our parameters described here. Let's run this and take a look at the estimated value of the option. Our model estimates that it will be $1,362.93 per call option. And we can compare this to the actual market where we have some call options expiring in July. And we can see that the price is $13.65. You have to multiply this by 100 to get the actual dollar cost of the option. And if we compare the two, we can see that they're very close. So our model did a relatively good job approximating the price. Ours 
estimates the price at $13.62, while the market value is standing roughly at $13. The market value is currently $13.65. Next, we are going to create a variable that's going to store our Apple shares. We'll just take the Apple price and multiply it by 100 to, and we'll get our current value of our Apple shares at $17,200. What we'll do next is we're going to compare the premium collected and the way that we'll look at the premium yield is we're going to look at the premium taken for selling the call options and divide it by the market value of our portfolio. And we'll compare that to Apple's current dividend yield. And we can see that it is pretty a lot higher relative to the dividend yield. And there is some more risk that comes with a covered call. In the case that the option, the stock price does rise above the option's strike price, then the shares can be called away, meaning that we have are forced to sell them. This isn't true for dividends. For dividends, you can just sit on the shares and collect them as long as they're paid out. Next, we're going to take a look at a graph and compare the stock price of Apple relative to a covered call strategy. And we'll run this. And here we can take a look at the two. This orange line is just a position in Apple shares and we can see that it's linear because it's just Apple on the x-axis and Apple on the y-axis. We just have 100 shares of Apple and we can see that it'll increase and decrease. However, for covered call, we have a much different shape. Here, as the price falls, we have this buffer where our loss isn't as great. And the difference here between the two lines is the premium collected. And that gives us a bit of a cushion where we'll still have a loss, but it won't be as great as if we just held the stock outright. However, let's say that the Apple Apple shares rise really high and they rise up to $200. In the case of a covered call, we have a strike price of 175. If the Apple shares rise in the short in the period of time that we hold the hold the option and at an expiration it finishes at $200, then we will only have $200 plus the premium and we won't get to capture any of this upside that if we just held the stock by itself. And that's one of the risks that comes with having a covered call strategy. We can also save everything that we did into a function. And I'm just going to run this real quick. And I am going to try it out for Apple shares. In this case, I added a parameter to in case you want to sell a different number of shares, you can plug that into the quantity parameter. And just to review everything, we pretty much did everything the same besides the quantity parameter. And you can do this for any ticker for a stock to get this graph. We can also try IBM. And here's the premium that we would collect in case that we sold a covered call on IBM. And you can run this on most of the equities within Yahoo Finance where it can pull the, down the data. I hope that this video was helpful. If you are looking for additional resources, you can try options, futures, and other der derivatives by John C. Hole. I also highly recommend Bionic Turtle. They have a great amount of videos covering options and related topics. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to like it. You can also subscribe and you can connect with me on LinkedIn, Twitter, and GitHub. Thanks for watching everyone and happy coding.